Some of you guys may remember the old Wilma tree I had in my front yard that was producing a lot of fruit. Uh, it had several different varieties, including a red variety of avocado. I believe it also had Hass and Pinkerton and a number of things. It was graft. The Wil original Wilma was grafted on, I believe, a Mexicola Grande seedling. Um, but the problem is the uh, the tree itself after about five years started to suffer and i noticed that the uh, above the bud union the the graft union it had uh, started to swell the tree was double the size of the root stock and my uh, and the and the the tree above that's just started suffering. Uh, it produced a massive amount of fruit. I mean, it was crazy, which indicated to me that the tree was suffering. I mean, it had hundreds of fruit of different varieties. And then unfortunately, after our hot summer, the darn thing just started dying back. And before it died back, I cut it back to about, oh, probably a foot above the ground. Fortunately, uh, at the end of the summer, new growth started sprouting up uh, close to the ground and I had a spot to start to graft. And so I uh, waited until the spring and actually I just waited until about two weeks ago and I decided to graft the tree and it took. So let's go in the front yard and we're gonna take a look uh, at, that, at the results of those grafts. Uh, unfortunately, the actual grafting video itself was lost to the cloud. So uh, yeah, we will, just take a look at the tree and how it's doing after the grafting. I grafted, uh, I grafted uh, Carmen Hass. I grafted uh, that monster giant avocado, and I grafted Surprise on that tree, and they're looking pretty good. So, like I say, go. We'll go back in front, and we will take a look and see how uh, that tree is doing. So here you can see my latest. Uh, tree that I planted in the ground. This is a uh, Carmen Hass, which I understand is one of the greatest <laughs> Hass varieties. It produces it's almost all year round. And so as you can see, I planted this guy in a um, raised bed and it's all set up and watered and it's looking great. Now let's go over here to what used to be the Wilma tree. Now if you guys remember, I, this was a 15, 20 foot tall, multi-grafted tree, but the main thing, main avocado on it was Wilma, and I did not like it. So, I cut it down, whoop, cut it all the way down, and it re-sprouted from the base. And so, what I did, it, it took off dramatically in the, in the fall, it got a tiny bit of frost damage because this is this all these is about two months worth of growth and then here we are in almost summer and i decided to graft it using a number of different varieties of grafts and as you can see in just two weeks they're already pushing i'm not sure if you guys can see that i wrap the grafts with avocado leaves because let's face it avocados um, or look more natural than wrapping it with aluminum foil because here we are getting a lot of 70s and um, excuse me yeah from 70 to almost 100 and so it needs a little shade the first time you graft it and this like I said was come on let's focus in on that thing there we go it takes quite a bit of uh, you know you have to protect once you graft to this time of year for until you start getting some new leaves and if you look this guy is just starting to but I'm gonna keep him covered up just a little bit longer uh, this guy I'm gonna just let go natural but yeah I have three di new different varieties I have uh, come on let's focus I have Carmen Hass I have uh, that giant seedling avocado that produces three pound fruits and it's I'm not sure which one that is, but it's really growing really fast. All of them are growing very fast. Two weeks ago, I I uh, grafted these. Unfortunately, the craft videos are unfortunately been lost in the cloud. But yeah, as you guys can see, if you guys remember, this was a Wilma tree, and it 
was grafted about four feet high and the graft was, didn't seem to be compatible. It was actually, uh, the top graft was really twice the diameter of the uh, seedling, this guy right here. Um, and it was, it was dying fast. So I just shoop, took the saw and cut it down. Now, when you top work a uh, avocado tree, you wanna take these little sprouts off. Now, these things are trying to grow and take over and be the central leader. And what you want is, you want the, cent the, the budwood, the, the scions, to, to become the central leader. Let's see if you can see that. Once that gets up here, a couple leaves, and I'll remove these uh, dry leaves that are protecting the uh, graft. And I'm going to do some more grafting videos very soon. My camera lady's gonna graft her very first avocado tree. So you guys make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, click that like, subscribe button, notification bell, comments and questions, leave them in the comments section below. You have a wonderful day.